On October 9th, Al Jardine of the Beach Boys went to Central Park where there's an imagined plaque to honor the 75th birthday of John Lennon by bringing 75 white roses to hand out to a crowd, very guerrilla style. We wanted people to participate in a sing-along for world peace and to honor the memory of John Lennon. I'm Larry Devoskin and I have been the songwriting partner of Al Jardine for about 25 years. I'm Al Jardine and I'm, I'm here with uh, my very good friend and producer Larry Devoskin. I knew John, we admired one another a lot and John uh, introduced me to uh, Transcendental Meditation. And so doing this now uh, in this very, very troubled times really reinforces his lasting message to the world. There is a campaign for UNICEF called Every Voice Counts. With the blessing of Yoko Ono, people around the world are singing a line of the song Imagine, and it splices in between schoolgirl from Africa or a fisherman in Ireland or the UN General Assembly. The Beach Boys played the first ever global telecast for UNICEF in the 1960s. So the director, Michael Jerkovac, said, wow, wouldn't it be great to get Al to come in and sing for his friend, John Lennon. So in a strange way, this is a full circle moment. I heard she asked the Beatles, who in America do you think it was the best band like yourselves, you know, to, to influence people? And I said, oh, well, the Beach Boys are out of question. <laughs> Several hundred people got together and just sang Imagine and you know those moments when the hair stands up on your arms, it was like, wow. Suddenly behind us, one of the guys who had been busking in the park started singing a Beach Boys song. And then Al grabbed the guitar and we burst into like a live, unplugged little Beach Boys set. And he sang God Only Knows that, that Paul McCartney had said many times was his favorite song. It was like a, an explosion of joy being there with those beautiful people on that beautiful day. 